15 minute stretch. That's not the right page. That's the right page. Uh, so I have all my stretches listed here. You will need a chair. For one of the exercises, you might also want a uh, band or a towel, um, but not completely necessary. Here a little bit more up. So we will start with our forward fold with our side lean. So essentially all I'm going to be doing for this is I'm going to push my hips back, crawling my hands in front of my leg. And then as we stand up, we're going to pull back on our left fingers, arms overhead, hips to the right, lean to the left, hips to the left, lean to the right. All right, we're going to do that again. I'm just going to get that going so we can see how we're doing on time. Pulling back on the right fingers this time, arms overhead, right, lean to the left, left, lean to the right. All right, we're going to do that. Two more times, one more on each side. Stretching the hamstrings, the calves, the back maybe. This time when we pull back, maybe you want to lean back a little bit further and then push hips to the side and lean to the other side. And again, I'm pulling back on those fingers to stretch out the forearms as well. Breathing, and I'm going to pull back on my right fingers, arms overhead and line with my ears, and I might just push my hips forward that time. Get a little extra stretch in the back. All right, perfect. We're going to move to a door frame stretch. So you just need a wall or something that you can plant your hand on. So I, I have my left hand a little lower than shoulder height outstretched, and it's planted on the wall so I can turn my upper torso and feel that stretch in my chest and in my shoulders. So it's really important to stretch out our chest and shoulders when we're sitting a lot, um, whether it's through the day or exercise, whether it's through the day or driving, uh, you know, sitting on the couch, we tend to be a little bit more rounded in the front so we really want to make sure that we're taking our time to stretch out our chest and our shoulders take the time to breathe stand up move around so if you're joining me today congratulations uh, a lot of people don't move throughout their day okay we're going to go into our arm retractions so what i'm going to do for these turn down that music just a tad I can't hear it, but it looks like the audio levels are a little high. So our arm retractions, I'm just putting my arms out straight ahead. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to bring my arms back without bending my elbows. So again, from the front, you can't really see too much. Side, get out of the glow there. I'm just driving my elbows back, trying to squeeze my shoulder blades together without without bending my elbows, without driving my elbows back. And that's really gonna train those muscles that are responsible for moving our shoulder blades and assisting with a lot of shoulder functions to work because sometimes we lose that throughout our day. So the next one is our cow face stretch. And essentially what this is, is this is a, a stretch for our, our shoulders. And we want to try to get as close as we can behind our back with our hands. And if that's difficult for you like it is for me, we can use a band. And what we're going to do is essentially we're going to have the band assist us. And then you can see by holding the band with my bottom hand, I can drive it up a little bit further by lifting up on the band you could be using a towel as well or again you could be using no band at all and just trying to get close so we'll switch sides okay i just did the same side there so i will switch sides 
again, you can move through this one as well, whatever feels most comfortable for you. But again, what we're really uh, focusing on here is our external rotation in the bottom arm. And when we're sitting throughout our day or doing most daily functions, we're internally rotated. So we're really trying to reverse that motion. So we'll take just a second break there and then we're gonna do that one more time, but this time without a band, we're just gonna try to continually switch. Getting as close as we can. One side might be better than the other. This is one I haven't done for a while and I can tell uh, for myself how difficult it is. All right, so we're going to move to our chair child's pose next. So I have the seat of my chair right in front of me here. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna place both hands on the seat of the chair. I'm gonna push my hips back and just lean forward, feeling that stretch in my lats, in my low back. Take this time to breathe, nice deep breath in, hold, and out. And you can just go ahead and continue breathing like that on your own natural cycle. Hips are back. I like to try to slide the chair towards me. You can see it's, it's almost leaning a little bit there. And that just allows me to engage my lats a little bit more throughout the stretch. Now we're gonna stand up for a second, do a few twists. Don't have this on here. Interlock our fingers behind our head, pull the elbows back. We'll just twist. You can step forward with one leg if you like. We're just twisting through. All right, and then we're gonna go back to that child's pose. So my hands are on my chair. Another way you could do this is from a seated position on your chair, if you find that really difficult, is you can just lean forward. And try to stretch out the back that way. I prefer the standing a lot more, but it's all personal preference there. Okay, then we have our seated pigeon. So I'm gonna take a seat on the chair. Right on the edge, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross my left leg over my right and a slight lean forward, all right? So left is over right, slight lean forward. And we'll switch sides. So I'm going to go right side now. If you want a little bit of an extra stretch, you can actively push the cross leg knee down. You don't need to push a lot, just enough so that you get that added little bit of a stretch. And always the lean forward will also provide that extra little bit of a, of a stretch there. And we'll go back to the first side. Yeah, you can take this time to practice your breathing, whatever practice you like. You know, you can use that square breathing. Count of four, breathe in. Hold for four. Breathe out for four. Hold for four. And we'll switch sides one more time. So this is a nice stretch because you can add this into your work day, right? You don't need to get out of your chair. You can add this stretch in while you're working if you're seated. Just adjust those audio levels once more. All right, so we're gonna do our chair triangle poses and this is sort of the majority of the stretch break here. So I'm going to go right hand forward on the chair right leg forward, left hand on the inside of my left knee, and I'm going to turn and open up as much as I can and return back to normal. We're just going to move through this one naturally.
So open up, allow that rotation, feel that opening up in your chest and in your rib cage. Hold this last side a little bit longer. And we'll come down. Okay. So we're going to go left hand on the chair now, right hand on the outside of the right knee. And we're going to reverse the right side. And you might feel that this one's a little bit more challenging. Most people will find that. That's natural. You might find it equal difficulty, and that's okay too. Just go ahead and move naturally. You can hold a little bit longer at the top if you like. All right, and we'll do one more, actually, folding at the top, and come back down. So left leg forward this time, left hand on the chair, right hand on the inside of the right knee, and we're gonna turn it open that way. And I like to track my hand with my eyes while I do this. And that just makes sure that my cervical spine is opening up the same way my thoracic spine is. And we'll do one more holding at the top. And back down, all right. So the last one is just left hand on the outside of the left knee, right hand on the chair. And we're reversing the left side now. I like to add in all this rotation because, again, if you're sitting at a chair, if you're driving into work, there's extended periods of time where you're very rigid throughout your day and you don't do any twisting at all. And it's so important to add that twisting. We're designed to twist. And last one, we'll hold at the top. And we'll just add some calf stretches in here. They're not on here. So I'm just going to take that exaggerated step back and press my back heel. You can see back heel into the ground. Chest stays lifted. You can do this using a wall as well. We'll switch sides. And I'm just pressing my right heel into the ground, feeling the stretch in my chest. And I'm just supporting my weight on the chair. All right, and we're gonna finish with some neck mobility. So I'm gonna go right ear to right shoulder, gentle tilt forward, left ear to left shoulder, gentle tilt forward. We're gonna look all the way up. We're gonna look all the way down, tuck your chin. We're gonna look to the left and we're gonna look to the right. All right, we'll repeat. Right ear to right shoulder, Gently tilt the head forward. Show you this side. Left ear to left shoulder. Gently tilt the head forward. Look all the way up. Chin pointed up. Look all the way down. Tuck the chin. Look to the left. Look to the right. And we'll do that one more time and we'll be all done. So right ear to right shoulder. Gently tuck, left ear to left shoulder, gently tuck, all the way up, all the way down, all the way to the left, and all the way to the right. All right, I can see we are close to 945, so we'll call it there. I hope you guys enjoyed the workout, enjoyed the stretch break. Hopefully the music wasn't too loud. I was really trying to raise my voice. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, put them in the comments, put them on YouTube, send me an email, whatever you need to to get across. I'm happy to take that criticism and apply it to the next stretch. Uh, Diane should be back on the schedule next week. She's just enjoying a, a week off.
on uh, vacation. So I will see you tomorrow morning if you'd like to join for a hit class. Have a great day.